Good morning, I'm Gerhard Mathingani with today's Sports Brief. Now, it took a long time, but SEC football is finally back in our lives. And the first weekend certainly did not disappoint. Auburn used a strong second half performance to come away with a 29-13 win over Kentucky. The Tigers capitalized on key Wildcat turnovers to widen their lead late in the game. Quarterback Bo Nix started the year on a strong note. The sophomore threw for 233 yards and a career-high three touchdown passes. Receiver Seth Williams also turned in a great game with 106 yards and two scores. Hats off to Kentucky. Coach Stoops with what he's done with that program, and they're going to beat a lot of people. Uh, we were very concerned coming into the game. Uh, you know, they led the league in rushing last year. They had four starters back, and they're very good uh, offensive linemen. And, and I thought our defense did a really good job of, of stopping them between the tackles. That was something that we really uh, focused on, and, and our guys did a super job with that. And then, of course, offensively, uh, you know, Bo made a couple really good throws for touchdowns. And I thought Seth Williams uh, made two uh, big time plays right there to help us. But I'm just excited for our team. Um, you know, it gave us a good measuring stick of where we're at. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of things we can clean up, um, but uh, we'll work extremely hard to, to do that moving forward. Just having that game uh, to kind of jumpstart our season. We had it at home. We kind of got familiar with the crowd and how it's going to be different this year. Uh, but moving forward with a, with a big SEC schedule, it's going to be tough and it's going to be it's gruesome for everybody. Um, and just moving forward, we got to take it one week at a time. Um, obviously, we got Georgia coming up next, and so we'll have a good week of preparation and, and we'll be ready on Saturday. The Tigers face Georgia this Saturday night, 630 in Athens. Meanwhile, Alabama got off to a very fast start in Missouri and go on to knock off the Tigers 38-19. Tied led by quarterback Mac Jones, receiver Jalen Waddle, and running back Najee Harris, who combined for five touchdowns in the victory. Alabama sprinted off to a 28-3 lead at halftime before sealing it late. The Tide rolled up 414 yards of offense, more than 300 yards through the air. Head coach Nick Saban says it was a good start, but there's still a whole lot of things to work on. There's a lot of things that we can do to improve on, but I'm proud of our team. You know, they, they've went through a lot and had to overcome a lot to get in this game and to come out and play, you know, extremely well in the first half. I think they were well prepared and ready to play. We just didn't maintain our intensity throughout, uh, which we'll learn from and uh, certainly have to do, um, you know, as we go down the road in the SEC. We kind of had to adjust to that, but... Those guys played really hard. I mean, you guys could see it. Um, and a lot of respect to them for coming out and, and playing the way they did. And then our running game, it, it was good. I mean, I think that we have to watch the film. Like I said, um, the runners ran hard. I feel like we blocked it pretty well. You know, later on in the game, maybe we didn't have, it, uh, have, have as many explosive plays in the running game as we would want. But like I said, you got to watch the film and find ways to improve. The title faced Texas A&M in their home opener Saturday at 2.30. After the first weekend SEC play, the polls shook up a bit. The latest AP poll is in, and Clemson checks in at number one at 2-0. Alabama remains second and picks up three first-place votes. Florida jumps two spots after knocking off Ole Miss. Georgia remains fourth, and Notre Dame is up two spots to number five with a 2-0 start. Elsewhere, Ohio State is back in the poll after the Big Ten's announcement to play football this fall. Auburn is up one spot to seventh. Miami up four spots after knocking off FSU. Texas A&M down three spots to 13th. Mississippi State is in the poll for the first time after their huge upset win over defending national champion LSU. Meanwhile, the Tigers plummet down 14 spots to number 20 after that loss. Tennessee down five spots after narrowly beating South Carolina on Saturday. Meanwhile, it is also finally game week at Jacksonville State. The Gamecocks will hit the road to face Florida State in Tallahassee on Saturday. The Knolls are licking their wounds after a 52-10 beatdown from the rivals in Miami. JSU head coach John Gross will check in for his game week press conference tomorrow. And finally, it is back to region play in high school football. We have week six coming up. We will check in with some of the big matchups as we gear up for another action-packed Friday night. And that's your Monday morning sports brief. We are back with our program next.